Hi, percutaneous ablation is the destruction of a harmful tissue or tumor non-surgically using special needles inserted through the skin. In recent years, it has become a very popular method to treat benign thyroid nodules. In this method, the thyroid nodule is ablated either by injecting alcohol or by heating the tissue with laser, radiofrequency or microwave. Now let's see how these ablations are performed. Before we perform percutaneous ablation, we have to make sure that the thyroid nodule is not cancer. For this, the most practical way is to perform a fine needle aspiration biopsy. For this biopsy, we numb the skin, insert a very thin needle into the nodule and obtain cell samples. After it is proved that the nodule is benign, we can then decide what ablation to be performed for the patient. Alcohol ablation is generally preferred for cystic thyroid nodules, though it can also be used for the solid ones. Alcohol ablation is very similar to the fine needle aspiration biopsy procedure. In this ablation, we numb the skin and insert a very thin needle into the nodule. Then, under ultrasound guidance, we inject alcohol into every part of the nodule. Alcohol ablation is a well-known technique and has been used in thyroid nodules for many years. Thermal ablation has recently gained popularity in the treatment of thyroid nodules. In this ablation, a special needle is inserted through the skin and the nodule is cooked by laser, radiofrequency or microwave. In this particular patient, we are going to use laser. The patient is a 34-year-old female and she has a 3cm nodule in the right thyroid lobe. The nodule secretes hormones, that is, active or hot nodule. We have two goals. First, to make the nodule smaller and second, to correct hyperthyroidism. For the ablation, we first numb the skin and also the area around the nodule. Then we insert the laser needle and by putting the needle into different directions, we ablate the whole nodule with heat. This patient is a 43-year-old female and she has a 4cm nodule in her right thyroid lobe. The nodule does not secrete any hormone, that is, a cold nodule. Our purpose is to destroy the nodule by ablation and make it smaller. In this particular patient, we are going to use radiofrequency. Similar to the laser ablation, we numb the skin and the nodule. Then, we insert the radiofrequency needle and again, by putting it into different directions, we ablate the whole nodule with heat. During thermal ablations, such as laser, radiofrequency or microwave, the ablated areas look white because of the bubbles produced, while the nodule normally looks grey. When the nodule becomes totally white, we can be sure that we have ablated the nodule completely and then we can remove the needle. After that, we observed the patient for a few hours and then sent her home. After the ablation, the shrinkage of the nodule can be seen on serial ultrasound examinations. In some patients, it can also be appreciated with the naked eye. In conclusion, percutaneous ablation is a low-risk and successful procedure that can treat thyroid nodules through a small hole at the neck. It is painless and does not cause any scar at the neck. The patient can be discharged in a few hours. Percutaneous ablation can be used in both hot and cold nodules as well as in recurrent or residual thyroid cancers. Thank you very much for your attention.